Hey everybody, Gary here with Guitar Tricks, and in this video, I wanna review another pedal that I took right off my pedal board, the TC Electronic Plethora X5. I've been using this pedal for over a year now, and the reason why I first got it was because it saved me so much space on my pedal board. I had a chorus pedal, I had a delay, I had a phaser, I had the reverbs, and now I've got it all in one pedal, and at any time I could have any five effects going because I could change the pedal board. I actually only use one pedal board because that covers everything, but I'm gonna show you how you could have multiple pedal boards and how this one little pedal gives you access to so many different TC electronic pedals in one package. So we're gonna go through some of the functionality, some of the sounds, it's super easy to use. You don't have to get a computer involved. You could do it all right here on the pedal. Or if you really want to, you could go that extra step and you know hook up your USB and do the TC electronic tone print thing, which they're known for. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use all the functionality right there on the pedal. Before we get into it, please go ahead and click subscribe so that you get all of the latest and greatest content from Guitar Tricks. And if you wanna be notified of any new lesson, be sure to tap the bell and let us know in the comments what you'd like to see in future lessons. That's where we're always looking for ideas. All right, let's get into it. So the plethora gives you everything except for distortion and overdrive sound. So it's all the effects that have to do with either like volume, recording, modulation, recording meaning delay, so the repeat effect, volume meaning like a compressor, modulation meaning like chorus, reverb, phaser, flanger, those kinds of things. So literally if you have your overdrive and distortion and this, you've got everything covered. So right here, this is how I use it at gigs. I turn it on and I've got five pedals. And what's cool is these don't do anything. These knobs are not gonna do anything. They're not gonna knock anything out unless I go to edit mode. But as long as I'm in play mode, I'm in good. So as soon as I turn it on, I put it in play mode and this all is just locked into place. Everything is perfect. So in that way, it's actually superior to a regular pedal because my regular pedals, every time I take my pedal board out, I gotta make sure all the buttons didn't move around. With this, they're locked in place. So the way that I set it, I could forget it. So this is the way I've set my chorus. I've got two delays. I've got a phaser and a reverb, and that basically covers me. But now, let's say I wanna edit it. Edit. I go from play to edit. Well, what do I got here? Well, first, it's showing me that I'm editing some sort of chorus. I chose a chorus, and so these are my different kinds of choruses. I've got a whole bunch of possibilities. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's like nine different kinds of choruses I can mess with. From there, I could control the depth. So this is like my first knob. I could control the speed and the effects level, right? So you know what? Sometimes I feel like the effects level is a little too much. So instead of having it at 100, I'm gonna experiment with putting it at like 75. Okay, so there we go. And now I'm gonna go to play. Well, first of all, here is my default clean. And now here's with the chorus. Classic kind of chorus sound, right? Nice. So then again, I could go back and I could control it and then it's just gonna automatically save whatever I do to it and then go back to play. So you're totally safe. As long as this is on play, everything is saved. Let's move on to pedal number two. So now I wanna move on to pedal number two, which is one of my delays. So I just click the second pedal. Now I've got just the regular flashback default delay. I'm very easy to please. And you know, they chose these defaults as a reason, they work. So here I've got, again, all these different delays to choose from. Tape, modulation effect, uh, you know, just a whole bunch of different ones. I'm just on their default. So this is gonna affect my timing, right? If I go smaller, it's gonna be a faster delay, right? So I want mine to be more like. 
Feedback is going to be kind of like how many repeats I get. Verse. Just keep going on forever. <laughs> right? And that affects level. Right? If I put it all the way up, the repeat's louder than the fundamental. But all the way down, it's more subtle. That's about right. See, I'm looking for subtle. Awesome. So now let's go back to play. I'm going to add a little reverb. Right? Let's check out this reverb right here. I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to click on the reverb. All right, so right now I've got the regular reverb. Let's try something a little crazy. Let's try click beyond Saturn and then press it. Whoa. <laughs> Crazy, right? And of course, you know, this is just one of like a dozen options and then I could control all the parameters, right? So super versatile. Let's just see a list of the different effects we have. So starting at the top, chorus, compressor, delay, doubler, flanger, harmonizer, looper, noise gate, octave or octaver, phaser, pitch shifter, Reverb, tremolo, vibe, vibrato, vintage echo, bypass, effects loop. So it also has an effects loop so that you could work with where you're placing these effects in your loop. And then main settings, right? So, so much to work with here. So once you're done editing, if you're like, ah, where am I? Just go back to play, boom. Everything's right where you left it. Now let's say I want to create another board. Board two, right? So I only have a board one. Okay, so this is the default board two, right? It's got a compressor, a delay, a reverb, another delay, and a tap tremolo. Let's say I don't need a compressor. Well, just go to edit, click compressor, and now maybe instead of compressor, I want a chorus. Click on chorus. Figure out what chorus you want. I'm just going to go with the default. And then now when I go back to play, compressor is replaced with chorus. Let's hear the delay. Delay is super subtle. Let's make it a little less subtle. So I go to edit, press the one I want to edit. Ah, we can see why it's so subtle. This is at zero. And this is like a slapback very fast. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. So let's say I like that. Back to play. Now, besides that, we have on here stereo inputs and outputs, if that's your thing. If you've got, you know, two amps you're working with or you want to use it with a keyboard. So it's just so simple to use. Like I have a Helix and a HX Stomp and those things are insane. This one, it's literally like you just have five TC pedals at any one time. And what's even better is you don't have to worry about messing up the knobs. You set it and forget it. And then what's even better is that although you only have five, there's really dozens and dozens and dozens in here. If you want them, all you got to do is click that edit button, create a new pedal board, and you're good to go. So space saver, I've had it over a year, stood the test of time, no problems, works perfect, highly recommended. All right, everybody, if you want to learn more about playing guitar, head over to guitartricks.com. There's a library of high quality song lessons. There's step-by-step -step courses 
on guitar fundamentals, rock, country, blues, and so much more. Happy playing, and I'll see you in the next lesson.